This summer has been great for various advancements with newer and better rag techniques. We first had the release of GraphRag, which is an ultimate rag engine for advanced search and embeddings. Now, GraphRag is a project that is a data pipeline and transformative suite that is designed to extract meaningful structured data from the unstructured text using the power of LMs. Then we had the release of the best frag engine that's out there called Hybrid Rag, where it can simply combine knowledge graphs and vector retrieval, which made it a bit more powerful than Graph Rag. Now, Hybrid Rag excels in faithfulness, answer relevancy, as well as context recall. And this is by combining naive cosine similarity search, as well as KG retrieval. Now, the crazy part is, is that GraphRag and HybridRag were released just one month apart, and it just shows how fast everything is evolving. The only problem is, both are quite hard to configure and require a lot of time to actually start up. Now, for the average user, this would definitely be a hard barrier for entry. But, no need to worry, and guess what? There is a new project that is a rag-based tool for chatting with your documents, and it enables you to implement HybridRag as well as GraphRag. This is an open source framework called Photomon, a new rag UI for chatting with your document. It makes the process of utilizing these rag techniques fairly easily. But before we move forward with today's video, allow me to introduce NVIDIA NIM new agent blueprints, which are reference workflows for mainstream generative AI use cases. You can build and operationalize custom AI apps by creating data-driven AI flywheels using NIM Agent Blueprints. For example, you have NVIDIA NIM Agent Blueprint that will allow you to create lifelike digital humans for customer service. Now, this is where it's utilizing AI models like Audio to Face, you have Llama 3, 8 billion parameter, as well as Parakeet, which are all used for different things such as speech text transcription, you have generating human-like responses with the LM, you also have the audio to face model for syncing facial movements with speech. And with all of this combined, this blueprint is going to provide a powerful starting point for developing interactive avatars. So let's actually take a look at it. This is James, and this is their interactive digital human that's powered by NVIDIA ACE, NIM Microservices, and 11 Labs, which is going to offer natural immersive responses with deep NVIDIA product knowledge. So what you can do is click to speak. Hi, I'm James, a digital human. You can ask me about NVIDIA and its products. Hi, James. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So what is NVIDIA NIM? NVIDIA NIM is a microservice that optimizes inference for dozens of popular AI models, providing simplified integration, production readiness, and flexibility for developers. And just like that, there's so many other different blueprints that you can get started with right away, such as this multi-modal PDF data extraction for enterprise rag, you have generative virtual screening for drug discovery, and then you have so many other additional AI workflows that you can get started with right away. So if you're interested, definitely go over to the link in the description below, which will get you started with NVIDIA API catalog. And this is where you can access these different blueprints and get started with it right away. Currently, there's two ways to actually access Kodamon. Firstly, you have Hugging Face Spaces. This is where it's going to enable you to utilize this demo to start utilizing this new craft UI. You can also install it by simply just downloading the file. What you can do is head over to the documentation for Kodamon, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. You want to click on the latest release. Once you have done so, you want to then click on downloading the Kodamon app.zip. Once that is done, simply put in or drag that new uh, zip file that you just recently installed onto your desktop. Now, what you want to do is extract it with 7-zip or with Vendor. And once you have extracted the main Kodamon folder, you want to simply get into it, go over to scripts, and then you want to run the windows.bat command or the file if you are on Windows. But if you're on Mac OS or Linux, you want to utilize one for your operating system. So simply just run it. It's going to start installing the necessary uh, components, such as setting up Miniconda, your environment, and it's going to do everything that is essential. And within a couple of seconds, it will open up on your browser. And then once it has finished installing, you can then open it up on your local host. And this is where it'll take you to this page over here. You're going to need to actually set your username and password. And to do so, you want to head over to the documentation, 
you want to basically go over to the user management tab and this is where they state that you want to go over to the flow set dot setting flow setting dot pi file and you want to change the variables and you want to set it so that there is a password and you can get the admin password for it now in that flow setting dot pi file you can see that you're going to be able to get your access in this case it's simply just admin the password is admin and the username is admin but you can change it to whatever you want by simply just changing this component over here so go back into your local host put in the admin password and the username and then click login now there you go you can then access your ui for codomens now before we get started i definitely recommend that you take a look at the patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week now there is another way to actually install this and this is for developers as well as end users where you can simply just install it with docker you can just simply run this command after you have cloned it or you can do it without docker by cloning and installing the required packages now both all these options are definitely great but in my opinion the method that I showcase is the easiest way for you to install it now essentially Kodomon is a project that's designed to be a functional rag ui and this is where you can basically implement the different rag techniques that you mentioned such as graph rag you have hybrid rag as well as vector retrieval within this beautiful rag ui it's going to offer different functionalities that cater to both end users as well as developers and this is where you can utilize this clean ui to assist you in various ways you can also utilize it for q a for interactive pipeline customization and so much more let's now take a look at the features for kodomon now firstly it's going to be giving you the ability to host all of your documents locally with this web ui you have multiple users that can access your portal you have the ability to collaborate and share you can also organize your LMs and embedding models, which is really, really useful. There's a support for local and API-based models, and it's compatible for both local LMs with popular providers like Olama, Grok, Azure, as well as OpenAI. You have the ability to implement hybrid RAG pipelines where it can implement high-quality retrieval systems. This includes well-organized RAG pipelines, like we mentioned before, like RAF RAG or even hybrid RAG. Now, you also have multimodal Q&A support, and this is ideal for document parsing as well as figure and tables, which you can see over here. It's going to be able to process all of your data and it's going to be able to even have the ability to utilize vision for analyzing those particular types of data sets. You have advanced citation and documentation review, which is a detailed citation process that's going to provide comprehensive citations. This will ensure the accuracy of LM generative answers. You will also have in browser PDF viewers which is where you can view these citations, including relevant sources. You have the ability to have it directly sourced within your browser's PDF viewer. And this will also showcase and highlight all of your different sources with the highlights that are necessary. Now, you also have the ability to support complex reasoning methods where it's gonna be able to provide agent-based reasoning. And th this is something that is quite ideal for advanced reasoning methods using agents like React, you have Rewu, as well as many others. It's going to also focus on question decomposition, which will handle different complex or multi-hop questions. Now, there's also another great feature for extending the framework, where it's quite customizable. It's built on Gradio, which will basically provide you more flexibility. And it's going to allow users to easily add or modify the UI elements as needed. So this is great for various businesses who want to extend this for enterprise use cases and you can potentially even have it so that it can support multiple indexing and retrieval strategies including all of the different indexing pipelines as examples and even support for additional strategies that are planned to briefly showcase the ui you have the chat component where you're going to be able to converse with your document you simply upload your docs over here and you're going to be able to see an output on this right hand panel going to be able to input different components over here you can also head over to the files to manage your knowledge base you also have graph rag collection over here which is another technique you have all your resources over here as well as all the lm providers you can simply add the name of your lm the vendor and if it's something that is an embedding that you want to implement you can also configure that over here now in the settings tab you can add more users you can add different retrieval settings even configure the graph rag collection settings. You also have the ability to focus on reasoning settings, which will basically prompt 
different outputs with system prompts you have q a prompts and the number of interactions to basically include for your generations and if you need help you can obviously click on the help button which will take you to the different docs that they have basically developed to configure and utilize this ui so first things first what you want to do is if you want to utilize this you want to head over to the file tab and upload your files you can do this with graph flag rag collection or with file collection it supports multiple different file types so it's definitely amazing in that case now what it's going to do is it's going to start by indexing your file meaning that's going to start chunking and utilizing the graph techniques of your choice to basically get the best retrieval out of it so once it finishes indexing you're going to be able to start seeing your file list uploaded over here and then you can head over to the chat tab to start chatting with it you will also need to go over to the resources and then add your LM. You need to add it in terms of configuring and adding your API key, as well as selecting a model of your choice and then simply clicking on save. You can also then implement the OpenAI embedding. In this case, since you're using the OpenAI model, and once that's done, you can then head over to the file or the chat tab to start chatting with your docs. But that's basically it for Kodamon. This is definitely a great open source rag UI that lets you utilize hybrid rag as well as graph rag within its UI component. Now, I'll leave all the links as to what I use in today's video in the description below. There's a lot of docs that will help you get started with it. So definitely recommend that you try this out. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.